All right, good morning. Welcome to the Max channel. Thank you for joining us today. If you are not a subscriber, we challenge you to click down here and subscribe to the Max. There's always something fun happening here. Uh, never a dull moment. Uh, today we're going to look at the pigs. Look at look at the this is two days. Look at how much they've tilted up. Look how good it looks. It's got their fresh manure on it. You can see where they were. And what we're going to do is put them back on this just for a little bit longer. Because some of that grass is still kind of growing back before we tarp it. But this is ready. So what we're going to do is move this fence back over. Grab this little area one more time. And that way this will be a great guard spot for next year. But they're doing great. They're growing good. We've been feeding them a lot of extra milk because we've had a lot of extra milk. So they're really growing. The little one here is bacon number five. He's always been the, the runt. And I guess he's going to stay the runt. But... Pretty much all the rest of them are, are doing great. They're growing great, doing wonderful. So I'm very pleased with where they're at. Of course, uh, he just got popped. Um, of course, the big pigs are in there. We kept them in there because again, piglets are hopefully coming the next few weeks. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and move this, get this done. It's a beautiful day as you've seen some of the, the area that we've been messing around with, with the other chickens, with the garden and with the cows. Just a beautiful day. So we're gonna go ahead and get this moved. And, uh, and like I said, use your pigs to till your garden. Not only are they getting the leftover food scraps, we have no food scraps because they go to the pigs. We have no milk scraps because they go to the pigs. They're making great bacon and hams right now as they grow, and they're able to till up some ground, eat good nutrients. Can't beat that. Look at that definitive corner. I mean, look, look at that. That's a perfect corner for garden. So that's what we'll do. This will be the, the area, and this will be probably... I measured out the other day. I cannot remember. I think it's going to be... Like just a 2,000 square foot garden. All oh, this area right there, there. And that's not a big garden, but we don't need a big garden for our brassicas. Uh, it might be 1,500. I can't remember if it's 2,000 or what. But you see, it's just a, it'll be this whole big garden spot right there. Now, nowhere near the size of over here by where the cows were. But it allows this area to be worked, be able to cover quick. Um, and, and basically, it's just going to be basically for next late fall, early winter. That way it makes it a little bit easier to control the broccolis and cabbages under row covers and things like that. Be real close to the house. All right, finishing this video up after doing the pigs, after doing all that stuff uh, with the cows moving them. i uh, give you an update on the greenhouse. Everything's growing great. The zinnias are doing phenomenal. Um, basically, uh, look, at the, look at the parsley and the sage. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we've got some things coming up in chamomile, we've got some tarragon, we've got some poppy, we've got some coneflower, which is echinacea, which is excellent for your health, some rumex growing. We've got some uh, Hulse Tools onions starting to come up. But look at this, look how great this looks. Now just water, so that's why it comes up, it's going everywhere, but look at this lettuce, and look at this broccoli, look at this broccoli, all of it's doing great. Uh, some of our pigeon peas are starting to grow. And of course got some tomatoes and peppers and uh got some moringa down here so everything's looking good here and that will kind of finish this up we're going to go ahead and call it a day look at our cuttings right here i forgot to show you these that's our elderberry cuttings free elderberry that's unbelievable so anyways we've got that finished put some cottonseed meal in the future potato beds also on the compost so we are getting in full-blown garden mode Thank you again for watching the Max. I hope you're enjoying our content. If you like it, please go down here, push subscribe, ring the bell. So that way you know what's always coming up. And uh, we hope to see you again soon. God bless you. Happy homesteading, y'all.